Day one, I am confident in my survival because I have made sure to bring my emergency provision pack. This time on a moment of science? It is filled with my three favorite snacks, Fritos, beef jerky, and of course, nacho cheese. Go ahead, rescue me at your leisure. Why salt makes you thirsty? A moment of science. Today we're going to follow salt through the digestive system. In the walls of the small intestine, salt is absorbed into the bloodstream, making your blood, well, saltier. As it goes through the body, it makes the fluid outside of the cells saltier than the inside of the cells. The cells notice the change right away. That's because the extra salt outside acts like a magnet, pulling the water out of the cells. When they try to hold in the water, they send chemical messages to the brain. Meanwhile, in the brain, there are sensors that keep track of the saltiness of the blood. When it's too much, it goes on alert to tell you, you're thirsty. The kidneys also dilute the salt by slowing down the urine production and conserving water. Our blood pressure depends on the balance of salt and water in the body. The kidneys use sodium and potassium to pull extra water out of the blood. When you get too much sodium from salt, the kidneys can't put the excess water into urine. It stays in your blood and strains the blood vessels with high blood pressure. So that's why you can't survive on salt water. I'm Mandy Strife, and this has been A Moment of Science. Science! For more interesting science facts, visit our website at amomentofscience.org.